Revelation chapter 3, verse 15, and it reads, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop, the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. Um, couldn't sleep pretty much. Watching some videos. I'm pretty much watching um, Elder Manasseh Zakbar's video. You know, look, you can't sleep. Look, either read, you know what I'm saying, or do a video. So, and, I, and uh, this is going to be something quick because I got to get back to sleep. Try to get at least about 30 more minutes because I got to get ready to get up anyway. But uh, look, the spirit, you know what I'm saying? Look, I want you to do a video. You do a video. Um, with, with, with the, um, the, uh, the saying in the world says, um, when a uh, strike while the iron is hot. So pretty much um, pretty much a response video to the video. Edelman, that's just all I did. Lukewarm and withered branches will be, will pop up looking for sympathy and mercy. You don't want to be lukewarm. The Lord gave us this word to preach. Remember, preach the word, be instant in season. I see this, this is not a joke. This is not, and you're not going to be on fire 24 hours a day. You're not going to have smoke coming out of your ass 24 hours a day. But we got to do something though, brothers. Brothers have been having me given the gift, you know what I'm saying, to teach this blessed word. We we got to do something. We can't go six months without doing videos, two, three weeks without doing videos. You hit the highway, the byway, you stay out there for like 15 minutes, and then you wrap it up. You call yourself a man of the Lord, and you, you, you expecting the Lord to come deliver you. You ain't doing nothing. That's one thing about Israel. They always want the Lord to do something for them, but they don't never want to do nothing for you. How will Baha Shem Yahweh Shai? And the Lord didn't make it hard on us to go out there and teach. Give us the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. Go teach, man. Just go teach. Don't make excuses. Excuses just like butts. Everybody got one. You know? Do you, you want, When it's time to be delivered, do you want the Lord to make an excuse why he ain't delivering you? So why the hell are you making an excuse for not teaching the word? Love not the world, nor the things that are in the world. Any man that love the world, the love of the Father ain't in him. It says they that did they that do the will of the Lord pretty much shall be delivered. But I want to get some scriptures right quick. Pretty much, like I said before, this is pretty much a response video. Do the work, man. It, it, destruction is coming. So oh, we got to warn our people. It should be a sense of urgency. With the men of our nation that, that the Lord has put his spirit on to teach his blessed word. This is a blessing, man. This, this is the Lord really showing us mercy. This is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, showing us mercy, man. Giving us his not He ain't give it to everybody, man. They didn't give it to every man, Israelite man on the face of the earth. Warn, warn Israel. You know, just like I said before, this is just something quick. You see, Lord willing, I'm going to make this kind of short. Warn Israel, man. Let's get it again. Revelation chapter 3. Verse 15, red, look, red letter, Lord Yahweh Shai speaking, who they're going to call Jesus, right? Yahweh Shai, he saves, he delivers, right? He delivers. I know thy words. So the Lord's seeing everything. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. You have men to teach the word, then they stop teaching the word. You, you think the Lord ain't going to have brothers go to your page? Brothers ain't been seeing you. What that, and that's all the spirit anyway. They have men go to your page to see what you're doing. All of us being watched. And then, of course, you know what I'm saying, you got talents. So some brothers was giving more talents than others. So some brothers, you know what I'm saying, going to do more videos than others. Do what you can do. Focus on what you can do. This ain't no competition anyway of who can do the most videos. Just do what the Spirit allows you to do. But you better do something. All, all of us better. The, the guys ain't praying. We, we must pray, man. If we're lacking anything, pray. And look, and we got to read. We got to read, it says, study to show thyself approved. A man that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So when we put these videos up, we got to be breaking it down the right way. Can't be winging it, playing around. The Lord will strike us down, man. Look, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living prophets. Look, all the prophets was given warning from the Lord. Go teach. When they was given the word, the Lord told them, go teach, go on. 
If you don't go on, then I'm going to confound you in front of the people that I told you to go on. And don't be afraid of that faith. Are you scared? One minute you're out there teasing, next minute you don't, you, don't see, you don't see a man no more. You see? And if you do see him again, he come, he pop back up. You know what I'm saying? Like a fucking, like, like a, uh, what is that? Um, the dude, you know what I'm saying? Off the Muppets, um, they pop up out the trash can. Come up out the trash can, mad as hell, steam. Don't get mad at brothers are still teaching. Get your butt to the highways and byways and teach, man. Destruction is coming. What the Lord said, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold. Look, look, matter of fact, before I even finish, before I even finish this, let's just get this. Let's just get this. Guys think they can just wither away, you know what I'm saying? And don't know about the sin. The Lord, the, Lord, the, Lord, the Lord sees you, man. The Lord sees each and every last one of us. What it say? What it say? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade, man. Let's just get this right quick. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade, man. We go out and teach that word, knowing the terror of the Lord. Let's get this. Because it's a spirit, you know what I'm saying, to have men go to your page and go to our pages and see what the hell we doing. You see? Everybody's being watched, watched right about them. Like you gonna be able to just do videos, stop doing videos, and ain't nobody gonna go to your page. They're like brothers, go, yo, what is, what this guy at? We, we ain't seen him a little. It's all the spirit, man. Everybody's being watched, man. Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse three, and it's gonna be something quick, Lord's willing. Proverbs chapter fifteen, verse three, and it reads, "The eyes of the Lord, which are the angels, man." The angels watching everything, man. They see everything, and then they're giving reports. They're giving reports, man. But look, look, by the second, by the millisecond, they're giving reports, right? Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. The Lord know who ain't teaching no more. The Lord knows who's lukewarm. The Lord knows who ain't producing videos, but they got all the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, scriptures, but they ain't doing shit. They, they're too involved in the world, all right? They probably, they probably got a damn big-ass Christmas tree in their house. They probably, they're probably getting ready. They're getting that big old turkey, you know what I'm saying? You know, and the stuffings. You know, probably they went back to eating pork. Probably they went back to smoking cigarettes, weed, and everything else in the damn world. That's, that's when you don't see men no more. Because they didn't get caught back up in the world, right? The eyes of the Lord, yeah, how would through its only begotten son, yeah, how would which are the angels, the chariots, are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So the Lord sees all, sees all, knows all, see exactly what each and every last one of us doing each and every second of the day. So ain't nobody getting away with nothing. That's why we must repent, man. Teach this word and go warn Israel. Revelation chapter three, this is going to get it over with. Revelation three and 15, I know thy works. So the Lord knows who's putting in that work. You see, look, look, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. The Lord like, yo, you ain't even cold, you ain't even hot. It's either all in or all out. Don't play around. If you want to be back into the world, just take your black ass back into the world. You see, that, that, that's what you want anyway, right? Don't, don't play around anytime you come around doing a five-minute video or doing a 30-second um, a clip of somebody else's video, but you ain't did no video in six months. Take your black ass back out into the world. You see? Or if not, no sin, do the work, man. Do this. This is good work, too. The Lord says he's not unrighteous to forget. We ain't saved yet. He that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. This ain't a joke. The, the Lord getting ready to delete a whole lot of millions of Israelites are getting ready to, to get deleted, man. People, you know, people being deleted as I make this video. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou work cold or hot. The Lord like, yo, uh, you either going to be, I want, I want you to be either cold or hot. Get the hell on or get on fire. You see? And once again, you're not going to be on fire 24 hours a day. You're not going to have flames and sparks coming out your ass 24 hours a day. We get tired. You know, we, and yeah, we ain't beat down bodies. You know what I'm saying? It's breaking down by the second. But the Lord ain't going to put nothing on you you can't handle. The Lord ain't going to put nothing on us we can't handle. The Lord ain't killing us, you know what I'm saying, doing this work. You get to sleep, you get to eat on the thing the Lord's like, yo, produce, produce the work. I gave you, I gave you the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. So do something with it. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with us doing something for the Lord, man? This is how the script say this is our reasonable service. This is the least that we can do, man. This is the least that we can do. You see? What it say? So then, because there are lukewarm, let's just get the definition. Guys don't really care. Guys don't care. 
You go to a guy page and he ain't did a video in you know, a month, six months. He, he don't give a damn no more. He don't give a damn no more. But but watch now, all the guys, you know what I'm saying, like the Truva.com, you know what I'm saying, that I was with, you know what I'm saying, a couple years ago or whatever. All, they, all them going to start popping up. Sarge, he going to pop the hell up. You know what I'm saying, whoever else, you know what I'm saying, ain't teaching no more. They all going to pop up, you know what I'm saying. The, the closer and closer we get to the end of this place and everybody, you know what I'm saying, they fell out, you know what I'm saying, amongst the other Israelite groups, you see? What, 20, 30 years ago, you ain't seen them in 20, 30 years. They're all going to pop the hell back up. They're going to wipe off their garments. They're going to iron them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they always been out there. Look, look, and you know they're going to come back looking through his head. They're going to come back looking zombified, man. Just, just through. Eyes all big. Just like that, um, the elder Kazak, you know what I'm saying? From way back. Look how he look now. He look like he just hopped out of a damn castle. He looks like a mummy right about now. All gone. Come back teaching nonsense. Breaking out the screen. That, that's how I be. That's how I be. I just read Proverbs fifteen and three. The angels watching everything. They see who coming back out of the out of the out of the abyss. I ain't been around. I'm saying years. Then he come back out of the abyss like somebody's supposed to listen. We don't know you. You see, look, look, lukewarm is. Can I can I play it? Let's see if I can play it. Bear with me. Let's see. Lukewarm. Lukewarm. It's an adjective. Moderately warm. Timid. Timid, slightly warm. Let's, let's let's get some more definitions. Um, let's see. Little showing little enthusiasm. Little, little, really don't even want to be there. Just going through the motions, right? What would it say? Uninterested. So anytime you see a guy that's lukewarm, he he do a video um every six months. You know what I'm saying? He hit the highways and byways for five for five minutes, ten minutes. He's really uninterested. He, he don't really want to do the work. He's just trying to he just doing something just to save face, just for somebody so nobody won't make a video on him. You see? You, you either in or out. Don't don't play around. Don't play around. Either in or out. Look, go back into the world. You see? No, look, no one will miss you, all right? No one will miss you. That's why we got to constantly be praying to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, to keep their spirits on us, man. Psalm, Psalms 51 is going through my head right now. You see? What, 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 what else, man? Little laxy days. Oh, laxy days in nature. You see, unconcerned. You're not, you're not, you're not worried about the sheep. You, the scriptures say, feed, feed the flock. You see, the Lord made us overseers, you know what I'm saying, um, ambassadors over his flock, man, over his heritage, man. Pretty much managers over his flock, stewards over his flock, man. You see, you got, you got wolves everywhere, man. And you, you ain't been out there, you know what I'm saying, to feed the sheep, you know what I'm saying. In six months, the wolves done devoured them already. It's, the sheep is through, you see. When that shepherd, you know what I'm saying, um, start watching the sheep, man, it's true, man. The sheep is through. Wolves everywhere. Wolves and devour. Shit, shit, B L O D every damn well, you see? Uh, what, what, what else? Some emotionless, just dead as hell. You don't see a man make a video in six months, seven months, things like years. He's dead in the spirit. You see, the spirit didn't left him already. You see, dispassion. He's not passionate about it. You see, you supposed to be. We supposed to be obsessed with this word. This is all we think about. That's why I'm up right now, four o'clock in the morning, doing four o'clock in the morning, doing a video through the spirit. Lord, when it's, it's edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. Look, passionless ain't got no passion. Enough. Emotionless, unresponsive, just dead, man. Just laid back like it's all lovey dovey. You're all hell breaking loose, but you laid the hell back, man. You see them definitions, but look, look, couldn't care less. They, they really don't care, man. They don't care about your howl through its only begotten son, your howl shot. They don't care about the sheep. You see, anytime you're not a man and you ain't seen him in years, he don't care. So, so why should the Lord care? Why should Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shaka? Why, why should the Lord send the angels to protect that individual? Why, man? You see, why, 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 why? Revelation 3 and 16. So then, because thou art lukewarm, you really don't give a damn. You see? But then got the nerve to come on brothers' videos after that. When they make a video correcting you or rebuking you, you got the nerve. You look, you ain't you ain't go and say, oh yeah, let me um go on and teach, man, because I have been BSing around. No, no, you you take all your energy and you come on brothers' comment board, no something, 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 something. Uh, oh, this, this, that, and the third, that, that old nonsense. You see? Instead of asking for forgiveness, instead of repenting, you see, begging for mercy, because the Lord got the angels, you no know, saying, on you, yo, to destroy you. And you don't even know that, man. De demons on you, right? And neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. The Lord gonna get rid of you. It, that, that goes for any one of us. Once again, it should be a sense of urgency. You see, and if you're lacking anything, pray. I want. I want to get that. 
I just want to get that right quick. Lord willing, once again, this lesson is edifying to the to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So it ain't no fear. It ain't no fear. The, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, right? Anytime you stop, you stop teaching, you take your hand off the plow, and when Lord willing, we'll get that. No, say I wrote down some scripture. That's one I forgot to write down. Matter of fact, let me write it down right quick before I forget. Bear, bear, bear with me. I'm, I'm, I'm writing some down. Bear with me. Let's get this right quick. St. Luke 9, 62. Let's put, let's put that right there. Um, James chapter 1. James chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High. They give it to all men liberally. If you're lacking anything, if we're lacking anything, prayer, whether you're lacking faith, pray for it, whatever, man. Whatever you lack and whatever we're lacking, we got to pray, man. We have to pray. It says pray without ceasing. Uh, uh, another scripture says that he, came, he commanded all men, Israelite men, to pray. To pray, man. We got to pray. Men ain't praying. If you lack any, if any of you lack wisdom, which we, we starts off with the fear of the Lord, going, going right back to that, um, that subject I was just saying, through the spirit. We got a fear. It ain't enough fear. When you see a guy, you know what I'm saying, not, not put a video up in six months, he, 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 ain't, he ain't fearing the Lord no more. He, he's not fearing. Look, we got a fear, man. This is shit. It would say if those that fear the Lord would not um, lack any good thing, pretty much, would not want anything. Y'all know the scriptures. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of the Most High, Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, that give it to all men liberally, freely, and upbraid if not. And it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith. See, guys, guys losing faith. Or, pro or probably never had it, just going through the motions, seeing some men out there in the highways and byways, screaming and yelling. Just, look, look, I thought it was very exciting, you know what I'm saying, to call this man the devil and things of that nature and get on the end dub and all. But it's bigger than that, though. It's bigger than that, though, man. It's bigger than just calling the, the end dub, you know what I'm saying, out, uh, you know, and, and sleazy, you know what I'm saying. It's bigger than that. We out there prophesying. The Lord said, go prophesy. Tell them what's going to happen before it even happened, right? But let them ask in faith, nothing wavering, can't be double-minded, can't ask the Lord for something, you know what I'm saying, can't pray for something and don't expect to get it, right? That's being double-minded, right? For he that wavereth, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Don't know if he want to teach the truth, don't know if he want to be in the world, you know what I'm saying? You see... And some of us, you know what I'm saying, some men in the truth got women, got families, and some men don't. Don't don't force the course of the river. You see? And then that's what I'm, that's what I'm saying, man. The, the knowledge will understand. This, this, seek the kingdom of heaven first, and all things shall be added. You got guys seeking everything else except for the kingdom. You see? You, you seeking everything except for the kingdom. You see the kingdom last, man. And, and this is the result. You, you're not doing videos. You're not going to the highways and byways. You, you, you're somewhere just cupcake, cupcake with a damn female. Or who knows? Probably back smoking weed. Probably back smoking cigarettes. Who, who knows what goes on? But the angels know. But the angels know. And I'm going to just keep rolling. And once again, it should be a sense of urgency. Let's get this. Let's just get this. I didn't even really want to make it this long. I might not even be able to go back to sleep. I'm starting to warm up now. You know how this spirit is, man. St. John chapter 15. St. John chapter 15. Let's get this. And, and anytime you stop teaching the word, you know what I'm saying? That's you. you. You don't love your brothers. You don't love your sisters. You go back into the world and you stop teaching the truth. You don't love us, man. All right? You don't love us. The scriptures say, um, um, if they was of us, they would have continued with us. That's why we got to constantly pray. You see? Matter of fact, since I keep saying that, I, I, I keep hearing Psalms 51 in my head. Let's just get that right quick. Let's get that right quick. Psalm chapter 51. Psalm chapter 51. Just for a process of time. Psalm chapter uh, 51 verse um, 10. Create in me a clean heart, a pure mind. Oh, Yahweh, and renew a right spirit within me. Look, look, we don't want to be the same person that we used to be. We don't want to think like we used to be, like that old man. And it's a constant fight. Fight that good fight. Yes, yeah, a fight. It's a dog fight, man. 
What it say? The fl- the the, um, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And hell yeah, this flesh is weak. You see? Of course, this flesh is weak as shit, man. But that spirit, you know what I'm saying? That spirit is a fighter. That spirit is fighting, man. You see? Be more spiritual than carnal, man. You see, it's an everyday fight, man. That old man, he looked that old man like, I ain't going nowhere. So you got that new man, got to constantly fight the old man. You see? Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And this is, we're praying this every day. If we're not reading it every day, we're praying it every day to not be a castaway, man. You see? Just thrown back into the abyss. And, and guys aren't praying this. So let's get this. St. John chapter 15, verse 16. Ye have, look, look, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. This red letter, Lord Yahweh shall I speak, who they ignorantly call Jesus, right? He, he, look, look, ye have not chosen me. So we didn't choose to do this thing, right? But I have chosen you and ordained you. And just like the Lord can choose you, he can damn sure get rid of you, right? The Lord ordained us so we didn't have to go to theologian school. See how the Lord blessed us? You see how Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh truly blessed us, man? We didn't have to spend thousands of dollars to get the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures. We got the 100% truth according to the Bible for free. For free. The Lord ordained us, man. Look, 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 that ye should go, look, go where? To the highways and byways and bring forth fruit. What is that fruit? Other men, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. You look, look, you don't see guys do a video in like six months, a year, two weeks, three weeks, what have you. They're not praying to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. You see? The Lord said, look, I chose you. You didn't choose me. Now take your black ass to the highways and byways and teach this blessed word. Do, 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 do it now. Go. Go. It ain't no if, and, bustle, or maybe. Take your ass to the streets, man. I told you where to go, man. You can get that in St. Matthew 20. This ain't a joke, man. Guys, look at this thing as a joke, man. Playing around with the Lord. Playing around with the king of terrors. Are, are, are you serious? Are you Are you serious? Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we do these videos, man. And, we, and look, and we do this thing willingly. The Lord said, if you do this thing willingly, a reward. But if, but if against your arm, your soul, a dispensation of the gospel is committed unto you, man. Ezekiel chapter 3. Ezekiel, I got, I got a couple more scriptures where the Lord had me wrote, write down a whole lot of scriptures like... Going right back to um, St. John 7, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly, meaning his mind, shall flow rivers of living water. You see? Ezekiel 3 and 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. A people before us a place. And then and, and the watchman stands on top of the camp. If the watchman doesn't do his job, then, then what happens? All the people within that city gets deleted. That's, a, that's the thing about it. We Look, um, what it say? Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob, their sins. That's what the scriptures say, man. All right? That, that's what the scriptures say, right? Ezekiel, then look, you gotta be thankful, man. You gotta wake up each and every day thinking, see, guys ain't thanking you how about Shimia was shot, man, enough, man. The, the Lord said we can't go far enough when it comes to us praising the Lord. We can't go far enough, man. That's the thing about it, man. You gotta be excited, you gotta be thankful, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be fearful, most definitely. You, you just gotta be think. We just gotta thank the Lord, man. We can't thank him enough, man. You see. And the Lord said, put forth, when you come to serve me, put forth all your energy and you do it to the best of your ability. You only can do what you can do. You see, but we know you can do more than what you're doing, though. Shit, you, you ain't did nothing in six months. You see, you one, one video every two weeks, man, the Lord, the Lord, I'm saying, removing you, man. The Lord removing that candlestick, man. And, and that's, that's when we need to most definitely fear and pray even more. You see? That, that spirit of slothfulness, look, look, man, re rebuke that, man. That's a demon, man. You see? And once again, we get tired. Of course, we, we sleep, we eat, and things of that nature. But when it comes to producing the work of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Get it in. Pray. 
and just do what you can, man. Of course, it's going to be men that's going to do more videos than others and things of that nature, but you better do something, man. Do your part, man. The house, the spiritual house is being built. Do your part, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's plain. The Lord didn't make no mistakes when he, when he just gave us this, right? This is a commandment too. You see, I always talking about the law, statutes, and commandments. Well, this is one of them right here. Give them, I, I, look, I gave you the word. Eat, eat the roll. Eat the roll, digest it, and look, look and go warn my people. And I'm, I'm going to roll through these pretty quick. Let's see, what, let's see what else I got. Let's see what else I got. Um, I got that one. Like I said before, I, I wrote something down real quick. And it's pretty much a response video to this video right here. If it pop up, I don't know why I did that, but let's see. I don't know. I don't know why the hell it did that right there. Let's see. Bear with me. That was that was crazy. Here you go. Bear with me. A vid, this is a response video to the Elder um, Manatus Akbar's video. Lukewarm and withered branches will pop up looking for sympathy and mercy. They're going to pop up now. They're going to pop up crying, snot all in their damn nose and shit. Look, man, don't come crying to us. Go do the work, man. Go do the work. Why, so, why would it say work while it's day? Work while it's day, man. Let's see what else. Let's get Jeremiah. Let's get Jeremiah. Just a couple more scriptures. Then, then I'm going to wrap it up. Lord's will. Jeremiah chapter 1. Let's jump all the way down to the bottom. Jeremiah chapter 1. <clears throat> we just read 17. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 17. Thou therefore gird up thy loins, the loins of your mind, and arise, and speak, and speak, 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 and speak unto them all that I command thee. You see that? You see, and speak all that I command thee. Look, look, be not dismayed at the faces. What are you scared for? Go teach. Go teach. Look, look we full of the power. What is that, um, Micah? What is that, Micah chapter 3, verse 8, I'm thinking? Look, look, we're full of the power of the Lord. Matter of fact, let's just see if that's it right quick. I ain't brought it out in a while. Let's just see if that's it, man. The Lord said, don't be dismayed at their faces. Yeah, that's it. The water you have, but she was shy. Micah chapter three, verse eight. But I am, but but truly, I am full of the power by the spirit of the Lord. Yeah, how with through his only begotten son, yeah, I was shy. We're full of the power of the Lord, man. You see, we 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 really got spiritual power. You know what I'm saying? Uh, on, on a level, you know what I'm saying? We're able to um see us breaking down the scriptures the right way. This is spiritual power, man. All right. By the spirit of the Lord and of judgment and of might to declare unto Jacob his transgressions and to Israel his sins. The Lord has given us the authority, the power to go out there, you know what I'm saying, and tell our people where they going off at, man. You see? So let's go back. Let's go back. And the thing about it, he didn't give it to every Israelite man. He, he said, he said, it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom, but to them it is not given. So we got to take this thing deadly serious. You see, once again, Jeremiah 1 and 17, thou therefore gird up thy loins and arise and speak unto all and speak unto them all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their face because they're going to look at y'all bugged out. They're going to mean mug you. Know, I'm saying the scriptures say that thorns, thistles, brute beasts and things of that nature. Are what I said scorpions already that, that describes our people. You see. So, of course, of course, them demons going to mean mug, you know what I'm saying? They're going to probably get up in your face. They're going to talk their little crap or whatever. But the Lord said, don't even worry about that. Be not dismayed at their faces. At least I confound thee before them. If we don't go teach them and warn them, the Lord said, I'm going to confound you right in front of them. You see? Damn, man. This, this, this is, is real, Israel. It's real. Let's, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Let's get St. Uh, Matthew. Like I said before, I wrote down some scriptures on Lord willing, the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Ada Mackenzie are edified, right? St. Matthew chapter 7. Okay. Can't none of us make no excuses. What, what are we going to tell you how we're shot? What, what are we going to tell you how we're shot? Our Lord and Savior, when he comes, how scared, Lord, how scared. You know what the Lord said about the talents? You take that talent and you put it in a napkin. You already know what he said about that, man. You see? 
You know what the Lord said about hiding his money? The Lord wants money, man. And he, he wants you to flip it. He wants us to flip his money. You see? He wants interest on his money when he come back, man. You see? Let's get this. St. Matthew chapter 7. We started um, we started 17. Uh, let's see. So, even so, every good tree bringeth forth fruit. But a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. This is the point. Every tree, you know what I'm saying, which we represent the trees, right? Every tree that bringeth forth, it's like it, every tree that, that bringeth not forth good fruit is chewed down and cast into the fire. And, oh, yeah, and the scripture says, there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, man. So the Lord say, look, you don't, you don't go out there and teach this blessed word. You know what I'm saying? Look, look I'm going to cast your ass into that fire. I'm going to cast your black ass into that fire. And once again, it's a fearful thing. Ain't enough fear, man. That's that's what that's what it all goes back to. Ain't enough fear of your how it through its only begotten son, your how it shot. Look, look, but it will be. But it will be. You look, look, look man. Oh, man. It, look, but it will be, Israel. So it's scared, man. You see, uh, the scriptures say our people are wise to do evil, but to do good, they, they pretty much they don't want to do it. You see? This is Hebrews chapter 6. Verse 3. I got a couple more, then I'm going to wrap it up. And what the scriptures say, let, it, let the stewards be found faithful, man. You see? Let's get this um, Hebrews 6 10. For the most high Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. This, this is the least that we can do. This is our reasonable service. Remember, woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. Guys forgot about that. You see? All, all them scriptures been gone. You don't see guys for like six months, uh, a year, three years, 10 years. You see? 20 years, 25 years. That, that fear been gone. The fear of the Lord been gone. You see? For the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown towards his name. Look, we, we have been blessed with the proper names in the Hebrew tongue. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. You see? That's the name we come in here, right? In that ye have ministered. Well, we're here to serve. The word minister means to serve. We're, we're servants, man. All right? The servant can't tell the master what he want him to do. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You got servants trying to tell the master what they're going to do. No, the master tells the servant what to do. We're servants, man. You see? We say, and that ye have ministered to the saints, which are the Israelites, and do minister, meaning we got to continue to do this work, right? And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, because he that endureth until the end shall be saved. When we're in the end times of the end times, but we're not, a, you, you don't see no chariots pulling up yet. You don't see no missiles pulling up yet. So we got to keep teaching, man. You see? When when the teaching is over, you'll get a you get a um a, a word from headquarters saying, look, look, no, no more teaching, no more going to the highways and byways. Well, look, we ain't got that yet. So look, look, keep pushing. Keep pushing, man. You see, plus we signed a contract, man. We signed a contract. You see? This is it. this is worse than the mafia, man. You can't just leave and think it's gonna be all good with you, man. Think you're just gonna ride off into the sunset and live and, and live your best life, yeah. You mean, no, man. It ain't no more living your best life, man. If you stop teaching this blessed word, you you got you got um you got bounties on your head, man. Would it say, for we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, because we're prisoners of hope. Then look, 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 listen to this. And look, that ye be not slothful, meaning lazy, not lukewarm, you see? But followers who through, Salakia, but followers of them who through faith, and that's what it takes faith. Guys ain't got faith. That's what that's what it is. The, the Lord that took that faith, that gift, that precious gift back from them. That's why they don't go out there and teach them, because they don't believe no more. Anytime you stop teaching, you don't believe no more. You see? You stop believing. You, you don't think Lord Yahweh is coming in the chariots to deliver you. You don't think Babylon is going to go down. You don't think Sleazy is going, and these heathen days are going head first in the captivity. You see? You don't think Israel is going to rule anymore. That's why you take your black ass back into the world, because you don't believe no more, man. You see? You just believe in Sleazy and his wicked ass system. Go, go ahead, then. Go ahead. We don't miss you, man. Go ahead, man. You see? Then damn a soldier, the MIA, man, then left everybody on the battlefield to be deleted, man. Get your ass on there, man. You see? Plus the Lord said, uh, woe to him that um that holdeth his sword back from blood, meaning your spiritual sword, meaning teaching this blessed word, right? What else? 
uh, that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience got tired of suffering. Look, we was brought into this thing to suffer, man. All right. Inherit the promises, man. All right. So let's see what else. Let's see what else. I'm going to kind of go through them pretty quick. Let's see. Let's get some rock. It ain't, ain't going to be too much longer. Lord's will. Uh, I'm not even going back to sleep anyway, because I got to get up in the fruit. Ain't no need of me going back to sleep. This is Sirach chapter 2. Oh, yeah, we, we, we'll read one and we'll, we'll just jump around. Sirach chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we're going to be, that's why blessed is he that readeth. We're going to be constantly being tempted. You see? Rebuke the tempter. You see, and you can get the brothers. Brothers can get the definition. You see, let's jump down. Just jump down. Uh, let's see. Um, Sirach chapter two, verse fourteen. And it reads, "Woe, destruction unto you that have lost patience." You see, got tired of suffering, and the scripture say, "Woe to you, destruction, deletion unto you that have lost patience." That's why we got to constantly pray to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. I, I read um, Psalms fifty one. I read, Lord, don't get rid of us. Don't get rid of me, Lord. I need you. See, see that's the thing about it. Each and every day we got to tell the Lord, I, Lord, I need you. I know you don't need me. I know you don't need me. I need you. Yeah, how about This is all I have. This all I have is this word. This all I have, Lord. This all I got. I, I ain't got nothing else. You got to tell you how through his only begotten son, you how shot each and every day, man. You see, because the Lord don't need us. We need the Lord. Guys get beside themselves and they think the Lord need them. And the Lord say, look, look, I got you, bitch. I got you right where I want you. I'm going to show you I never needed you. I'm going to show you I never needed you. I'm a man, Matter of fact, I'm going to make everybody forget your ass. You know what I'm saying? Show, show you that you was never nothing. You see? And then that's scary, right? Warned to, warn to you to have lost patience, got tired of suffering. That's why you don't see guys no more. Oh, I'm tired of going out, man. My feet hurt. My feet hurt. It's cold. It's hot. Uh, it's raining. It's, get a damn umbrella, man. Get an umbrella. Get a jacket. Get a tote bag. Get a scully. You know what I'm saying? Get you a regular shirt. Whatever. Look, be instant, in season, out of season. Right? I, I got that on deck, too. 2 Timothy, the first, the fourth chapter, verse two, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering, because it's going to come a time where they would not endure sound doctrine. I got that on deck. Don't worry about it. I got that on deck. It's coming. Hold on. You see, war to you that have lost patience. What will ye do? This, this is the scary part, too. What will ye do when the Lord, your Howard, through its only begotten son, your Howard, shot by way of the angels, shall visit you? What you going to do, man? You see? What are you going to do when you wake up from 2 o'clock in the morning and you ain't talked the word, you know what I'm saying, years, you wake up 2 o'clock in the morning you, to go use the bathroom or to get some water out of the refrigerator and you got a spirit created for vengeance, you know what I'm saying, in, in your damn kitchen, you know what I'm saying, drinking the orange juice. So, 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 I, I've been waiting for you to wake up. What the hell are you going to do, man? You see? The hell are you going to do when martial law pop off? You see, when the hour of temptation pop off, you see, the concentration camps, the Gerger troops, you see, Jacob's trouble. What are you going to do? The missiles come. You see, things of that nature, man, the race wars, the class wars, the civil wars, the economy crash, you see? What the hell are you going to do, man? You see, you turned your back on the Lord. Now, now uh, uh, too late, man. Too, too late with all that crying shit, man. You see, you lost patience, man. Now the Lord's getting ready to visit you. What you going to do when the Lord, lions, tigers, bear, the Lord got those spirits created for vengeance coming at you now, man? What you going to do? You ain't got no head of protection. You, you, um, you, um, what, what is it called? Um, the angel, uh, that's protecting us. Um, you got an angel? Is, is that how you say it? You got any? Your, um, your guardian angel, your guardian angel. What are you going to do when that guardian angel, um, your Howard through his only begotten son, your Howard shot, tells your guardian angel, look, 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 pull back, pull back. You see, what the hell are you going to do, man? You see, what is any of us going to do if that happened to us? That's why it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's why we got to, and then the Lord, you know what I'm saying, puts the spirit on you to do whatever. If you're praying, it's the Lord putting the spirit on you to pray. If, you, if you're praying for more faith, that's the Lord putting the spirit on you to pray for more faith. You see, all the above. If you're fearing, it's the Lord putting the spirit on you to fear. You see, well, there ain't no such thing as free will. You see? The thoughts that I'm having right about now, they're all of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I ain't doing nothing on my own. You see? They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. The scriptures say, go, go warn my people. 
You fear the Lord, you're not going to disobey his word. You see? Go on while people be in season, season, out of season. It doesn't matter what the weather is. The Lord willing the weather, the weather permits. I mean, you're not going to go out there in a hurricane. You're not going to go out there in a blizzard. If the, you're not going to go out there if it's, if it's 120 degrees. You see, hot and shit. Nah, man. If the weather permits, go out there. If, if it's too stormy or if it's too hot, do 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 a sit down. You know what I'm saying, and Lord willing, later on that evening or the next day, if it gets cooler, you go out there. You see? Come on, man. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord, Lord, they that fear the Lord, are just fear, 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 fear. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing unto him. You think the Lord is pleased with men to stop teaching, that took their hand off the plow? Lord said, I will not have no pleasure in them if they take their hand off the plow. If they stop teaching this blessed word, we're supposed to warn Israel until the Lord say, don't want them no more. You see? And look, we most definitely haven't got that phone call yet. You see? It says, um, oh, and what will you do when the Lord visits you? Got to keep going over that, man. That, that's, you're supposed to strike fear in you, man. They that fear the Lord will seek that which is well pleasing. They that fear Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will do that which is well pleasing unto him. And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, will prepare their hearts, meaning they're going to get their minds right and humble their souls in his sight. Let's see what else. Oh, yeah, yeah. Saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. And the guys that went back into the world, you're going to fall into the hands of men. The Lord, the Lord let Sleazy have his way with you, man. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is gonna let Sleazy E, the sleaziest. You see that base man, you see? The, the grimiest of the grimiest have his way with you, man. And we already know how Sleazy E get down. We already know how Sleazy E get down. We just know some of the things that Sleazy E are do to you, man. The things that he actually recorded, man. But but what is he doing behind the scene, though? What is he doing behind that old Dr. Heckle and Mr. Jekyll? You know what I'm saying? He's going to get at you, man. That old Norman Bates. That old Sarah. S Sarah. You know what I'm saying? What's that damn, damn silence of the lamb? You don't want to play around with the Lord, man. None of us. We don't want to play around with the Lord. Lord. For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. And that's what we're praying for. We're praying and we're begging for mercy, man. Let's see what else before I roll out. Let's see what I roll. Let's see, let's see what else. Because I wrote down a couple of things. You see, it's all the spirit anyway. I don't, I, when we do these lessons, we don't know how long the Lord going to have us do these lessons. We say, Lord willing, it's going to be a short lesson, but we, but we never know. You see, because I've been going for, for 42 minutes now. It's, it's a spirit. I'm up now. You see, I'm up and I'm thankful too. I, I'm not complaining, you see? I, look, hell, hell, I got enough sleep. I, look, I'm not complaining, you see? Let's see. Um, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse, um, bear with me. Let's see what I wrote down. 1 Corinthians 9 and 10. I wrote that down wrong. Let's see. Whoa, let me, let me find it. I think it's in here. Let's see. Oh, yeah, here it is, 16, not 10, yeah, it was 16. First Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16, for though I preach the gospel, meaning it's good news, right? I have nothing to glory of, because this was given to us, right? We can't be out there bragging and boasting, because this thing was a blessing, it's a gift, right? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, right? For necessity is laid upon me. It's necessary that we go teach this blessed word, right? Little, little, yay. Whoa, destruction is unto me if I preach not the gospel. I guess guys didn't read that right there. I guess they went through the whole Bible. You see, from, from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Okay, they read it all, right? But they forgot about this scripture right here, right? This is, we got to remind ourselves of this scripture right here. You see? This right here, this this scripture right here, we got to remind ourselves of this scripture right here. It says, whoa, whoa, man. That's, that's a deadly serious word right there, man. Destruction, destruction, man. Oh, you, you don't see what's going on. You must know. Guys ain't watching the news. Anytime you see a guy go back into the world, I mean, it's a spirit. Ultimately, it's the spirit of the Lord, you know what I'm saying, casting them away. But it's like, are they not watching the news? In the news. Are they not watching the news? Are they not seeing what the hell is going on? Everything is going digital. This devil is going to make it mandatory that you take a sea hip soon come. All hell going to break loose. Race wars, class wars, civil war. God, what the hell? Oh, you, you, shit, man. All this spoiling of the stores, violence at an all time high, man. Shit, man. You, you got to walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. They don't see all this evil. Evil. They don't see it, man. You see? 
Woe is unto me. Destruction, deletion is unto me if I preach not the gospel. And that's a deadly serious scripture right there, man. That scripture, that scripture is deadly. You see? Let's see what else, man. Let's see what else. I got a, I got a couple more. Then I'm going to wrap it up. So just bear with me. I got a couple more. And then we're going to we're gonna wrap it up, man. You see, I'm, I'm up now. I, I ain't no need of me going back to sleep. I'm up now. Get ready to go and make this daily bread. This is 2 Timothy chapter 4. Look, the Lord protecting me throughout the night, man. What? Be instant in season. Warn them. Warn them. You see, I made it through another night. What? You see, I got a roof over my head. What? I got lights. And, and no matter if I had any of that, still teach the Lord. The Lord woke us up to who we are, our nationality. We know we the biblical Hebrew Israelites. That's enough in itself. We have been given the proper names in the Hebrew tongue of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. That's enough within itself, man. We haven't been given the gift of faith. You, you can't beat this, man. You, you can't put a price on where the little happy is the man, the gift of knowledge. What we have been allowed to, to receive and obtain, the Lord willing, the Lord to keep his spirit on us to obtain it until the end is more precious than anything compared upon the face of the earth. You see, you see guys, you know what I'm saying, looked at this as nothing. You see, that, that's what it was going right back to um, Proverbs 3 and um, 14, I'm thinking. It said we're supposed to be happy. Guys, you know what I'm saying, took this word and put it on their back burner, you know what I'm saying, and chose the things of the world instead of this word, man. That's what it was when it, when you when this word was the most precious thing that you can ever obtain, yo. This is the this is the biggest blessing that we can ever receive is this word, man. You see, but but the Lord has to put his spirit on you to even think like that. That's the thing about it, man. That's the thing about it. The Lord has the Lord is controlling our mind of our thoughts, man. All our thoughts are being controlled by the Lord. The Lord put a thought in your head, like, yo, I don't even want to teach the word no more. Look, look I done met a woman. You know what I'm saying, I want to get, I just want to get married. I just want to get married. And all this other crap. You know what I'm saying? Go back into the word. I want to, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a scientist. I want to be a rapper and all this other BS, man. You see? That's the Lord taking his spirit away from you. It's a fearful thing, man. You see? And then and then soon come, going right back to this video right here. The video of Elder Monatis I um, by made, lukewarm and withered branches will pop up looking for sympathy and mercy, but you're not going to get none. Take your black asses to the street, you know what I'm saying, and pray to your Howard Bashim Yahweh Shai that he have mercy on you. That's the only thing you can do. You see? Being gone for 10 years, uh, 12 years, 15 years, 30 years, 40 years, or however long you've been gone, then all of a sudden you just pop up. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, man, go to the streets, man. And pray to the Lord, have mercy on you. That's the only thing you, oh, bu oh, bug the hell out, man. B bugged out Jake's, you know what I'm saying? Coming back, you know what I'm saying? Out of the damn sewer, you know what I'm saying? Talking crap, man. But the only thing they should be doing is humbling down and going teaching the word. Shouldn't have nothing to say. Shouldn't have, if you know you ain't been teaching somebody to make a video on you, it, you shouldn't come back saying nothing. You see? Nothing. Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. And it reads, preach the word, teach the word. Teach the word, preach the word, right? What well, the teachers teach, preachers preach. What, what, what's in your wallet? You see, what's in your wallet? Preach the word, this word, the words of the Bible, not the Quran, not the Egyptian book of the dead, not the book of the Mormons, not the 42 negative laws of Miyak, but preach the word, the B-I-B-L-E. You see, and this is a commandment. Preach the word. Be instant in season, out of season. No matter if it's cold, no matter if it's hot, no matter if it's raining. You see, weather permits, of course. No, no matter if your stomach hurts, no matter if you feeling good or not if you got a toothache i remember the lord put his spirit on me um years back to go out there i had just got two wisdom teeth and you know the doctors the dentists tell you don't go out there and it was cold as shit man you see it was probably, it was probably about 20 degrees you know i'm saying it, could, it probably was even colder than that but all through the spirit of you have by shimmy shot the lord put his spirit on me to go out there man you see and i was mumbling or whatever you know what i'm saying but you can still understand what i was saying but it was kind of like mumbly ish you know what i'm saying but look, I, I was i was thankful and when, when i got back home after teaching this blessed word I, I cried i cried and i was thinking the lord you no know saying that he put his spirit on me you know what i'm saying to go out there and teach you no know saying no matter if i had them two wisdom two tooth pulled out or not man we got to thank the Lord, man. Preach the word, man. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove. We got to reprove our people. We got to correct them with the words. Oh, I, I'm going right back to Isaiah 58 and 1. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Rebuke. If you got to use harsh words, then use it, man. You see, if you got to use rules, because we got to use rules speech sometimes. You see? 
exhort, and then we got to lift our people up too. You see, with all long suffering and doctrine, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts. You see, they're not going to, they don't want to hear sound doctrine goes back into healthy doctrine, yo. The truth, according to the Bible, but after their own lust, after their own wicked desires, shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away anything that sounds good. Anything that sounds good, you ain't look. You ain't got to you, know, you, you got guys talking. You ain't got to go to the highways and byways no more. Just just do sit down video. You see, and all, all you, you ain't got to condemn sleazy. The the Lord loves everybody and all this BS, right? Then they're, they're not gonna endure sound doctrine, right? Then they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. The only thing our people want, once they leave this truth, the only thing they want is lies. You see, the look, aka the American dream, right? But the Lord already told us what to do. He commanded us to do this blessed work, right? Let's let's see what else. Because I'm getting ready to roll. I read um, I read that. Um, I quoted St. John 738. I think I read, I can't remember if I read it or not. You see? Um, yeah, I, I do want to get this loop though. Uh, let's get this. Cause I'm, Cause I'm about to wrap it up. I said what the Lord want me to say. Who, whoever it was meant for, you know what I'm saying? Ho hope you received it. You see, uh, let's see, nine. So this, ain't, this is not a joke, man. We, got, we need to be more fear. It needs to be more fear. St. Luke chapter nine. St. <clears throat> Luke chapter nine, verse 62. St. Luke chapter 9, verse 62, and it reads, And Yahweh Shai, who the Ignorant called Jesus, said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow, plow is pretty much going to the highway, and always pushing his work, right? And looking back, you went back into the world, is fit for the kingdom of Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which is really the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, you see? And Lord willing, we'll be joint heirs. The Lord said, You suffer with me, you're going to reign with me. You deny me, I'm going to deny you, you see? I'm, look, I'm going to deny you, matter of fact. Just get this right quick. St. Matthew chapter 10, right? St. Matthew chapter 10. Is it 32? St. Matthew chapter 10, verse 32. Red letter. Lord Yahweh shall speaking, who they eagerly call Jesus, right? Whosoever therefore shall confess me before men. And where do you do that at? On the highways and byways. You see? Him will I confess also before my Father, which is in heaven. But whosoever shall deny me before men, you stop teaching, you stop praising the name of Yahweh through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, on the highways and byways. That's you denying the Lord. When you stop teaching, that's you denying the Lord, all right? When you make up excuses why you don't want to teach no more, that's you denying the Lord, right? But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father, which is in heaven, man. Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword, which represents destruction. So the only thing that's coming is destruction on top of destruction, on top of destruction, 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 self-destruction, man. If you don't teach this blessed word, what else, Lord? What else before I go, Lord? We're supposed to give them warning, man. All have, sh missiles are going to fly. Concentration camps of famine, cannibalism. Sleazy is coming in like a madman. You see? The love of many, look, look, and a man's foe is going to be they of his own household. So if you sitting up, you know, if you stop teaching this word, and you sitting somewhere, cut it up with a damn, uh, damn hyena, you know what I'm saying? The Lord probably going to have her either delete you, you know what I'm saying, or either leave you anyway. You see? You got guys, you know what I'm saying, stop teaching the truth. When they got married, you know what I'm saying, then you don't see them no more. Come on, man. Just come on, man. Let's, let's get let's get this last one. Cause I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, uh, I I am I am not going back to sleep, but I'm I'm gonna just relax for a little bit, a couple more minutes, and then I'm, I'm gonna roll out, man. Cause it's almost time for me to roll out anyway. And Lord willing, Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh shall protect each and every last one of us. Hope for Alex, man, throughout the day. Let's let's get this. Um, let's see. Let's get this right quick. First Corinthians chapter four, verse two. Moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. And, and the word faith, you no know saying, goes back to into believing in some that you don't see. The Lord has given us the gift of faith. So the stewards, you see, let's, let's get the definition. Pretty much the managers, the overseers over the flock. 
You see, the leaders of the nation of Israel must be found faithful. And if you lack in faith, you can go, um, I forgot what scripture is, where it says um, the, the apostles um, prayed to the Lord to increase their faith. If you lack in faith, look, look, pray for more faith, man. We just say a steward. Let's play the definition. Steward. Steward. A person who looks after the passengers on a ship, aircraft, or train and brings them meals. What is the meal that we bring in our people? This food right here, this gospel. Oh, yeah, going right back to Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you. Feed you with what? With the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, man. A person responsible. Let's, let's see what else. Um, There's a couple more I wanted. Um... Let's see. Uh, a supervisor. You see, a manager. You see, overseer, manager, or look after a person's property. Who, whose property? Who's, who's the person? Is Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Who's the property? The children of Israel. All right? So, so the Lord has set up men to be managers, overseers of his flocks, man. You see? supervisor, uh, arrangements to keep order. You see that? So so the job of a steward is most definitely important. And what it say again? First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. And moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. And I could go on and go on and go on and go on to the break of dawn. But, but, but you get the point, man. You get the point. Let's go back. Like I said before, a response video, lukewarm and withered branches will pop up looking for sympathy and mercy, but they're not going to get any. All right. Unless it's of the Lord's will. Look, look, do the work. You don't want to be lukewarm. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakak Wadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless.